Welcome to the next part of our series of video tutorials on masonry construction using the complete Helus construction system. You have successfully mastered the mortar leveling. Today we will focus on laying of the first brickwork course. We will need a notched trowel, mortar, and string line. The first course of ground bricks is laid in a fresh set leveled mortar bed. If the bricks are laid on a mature foundation mortar, a thin layer mortar must be applied with a notched trowel with a tooth height of 6 mm. Bricks must be free of dust and other impurities, and the mortar should be sufficiently wet. We recommend laying a maximum of three brick courses on the first day. To start walling, create a corner according to the corner composition rules for the wall of an appropriate width. A string line should be tied to each end of the wall with a peg. This acts as a guide. The bricks are laid into the mortar bed from above by inserting the tongues into the grooves. If it is not possible to use whole bricks to lay a course of masonry, it is necessary to cut the brick blocks. The resulting gap of 5 to 15 millimeters between the cut and brick or joints where there is no tongue and groove joints is filled with the thermal insulation mortar. Wider joints must always be filled with thermal insulation mortar and a brick cut. The masonry footer on the slab base or ceiling slab should be protected from the inside against moisture up to a height of approximately 10 centimeters by painting the bricks with liquid waterproofing or by making a reverse joint of the coating waterproofing with asphalt strips or PVC membrane. Puddles of water are swept from the slab base with a broom. To eliminate a heat loss, we recommend using Helu's family two-in-one bricks to lay the first course of masonry. 